We've been getting all kinds of great eye reports about Apollo 11, but one in particular it stands out. I reported Greg Force was just 10 years old when astronauts first walked on the moon, but unlike most 10 year olds, he actually helped save part of the mission. Greg Force is on the phone right now with us from Washington. Greg, it is so great to have you on. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Susan. Take, Thank you very much. Take us through how you became your arm, that is, became such a crucial part in helping the mission. Well, it really wasn't a lot to do with me. It was more my dad, who was a station director on Guam. He um, they had a problem with the antenna, and they had a bearing that they were going to have to take the antenna apart to replace. He found out or decided that the only way they could really um, kind of patch it through would be to grease it. And my arm happened to be small enough to be able to go through the two-and-a-half-inch hole, um, access hole, to be able to do that. So he called me at 10 o'clock at night and, and sent somebody out to bring me out of the station. Did you know how vital it is at the time, and do you remember it vividly, kind of greasing up your arm and doing that? I actually don't remember that much about actually greasing up the arm. I remember going out there, and I did know somewhat how important it was because I'd been following the moon program mm -hmm. um, really closely and was just fascinated by it. But, um, you know, one until a lot later that I realized um, how important it was. Well, we are looking at shots of you. You're such a cute little boy, and I understand you wanted to be a part of the space program, but your eyesight got in the way. Is that right? Yeah. At the time, to uh, pretty much to get into the astronaut program, you had to be a uh, armed forces pilot, and I couldn't. Uh, I was too colorblind to pass the vision test to to do that. So um, at that time, it, it, it was something that stopped me from doing it. I think nowadays they're sending physicists and everybody else. So if they want a gymnastic coach up, I'm ready to go. But I know you follow it closely. And what was it like, to, if you remember, um, being a young kid, to have Neil Armstrong talk to you afterwards, after what you did? It was, it was something that it's, it's hard even to remember. I think I was, I was just real honored to be, you know, standing there with the first man to walk on the moon. And, and then um, he signed a news clipping for me, and it was just, it was, it was a really neat day. And, Greg, what is today like for you? We have a couple seconds left. Is today a special it, day for you, of course? It's very special. It's, it's a little bit sad because uh, my dad passed away two years ago, and um, I'm in D.C. To, to go to the Celebrate Apollo pretty much in honor of him with my mom. And, and uh, mm -hmm. so it's a little, a little sad, but at the same time, it's, it's really neat to know that I've been part of it. A little bittersweet. Well, Greg Forrest, we appreciate you calling us. Thank you so much for your insight. Great thing you did so many years ago. Thanks. Well, thank you. Well, if you helped save one of NASA's space missions or have pictures, if you did help save like Greg did, or you have pictures of breaking news from your part of the world, we'd love to see them. Go to iReport.com and click on the Upload Now link. If you're like Greg, send it in.